Welcome back. This is the second video in the Talent LMS Setup video course by Disturbulent. In the first video, we went through the things to consider when signing up with Talent. We've selected to customize the account, which has taken us to the account and settings sections. And by the way, if you haven't signed up yet with Talent LMS, they do have a free plan that gives you access to this part so you can follow along in the video. I put a link to their pricing page below. Just make sure you choose the free plan and, and you can follow along with everything in this video. So if you have logged in and you're not seeing this page, then this is how you get here. From your start screen, click account and settings in the lower right hand corner. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to set up a familiar look and feel for the platform. Basically your logo and your colors. Let's click on the talent LMS logo or the little select logo text below it. I've prepared a couple of logos for this. I've got the D emblem and the full Disturbulence banner. Let's select the D emblem first to show you why that's not a good idea. Now you'll only see a small portion of the emblem highlighted. It's because it's gonna to wanna to put the logo up in this corner here and it's just got a different format. So it needs to fit similarly to what you see with the Talent LMS logo. So let's try the other one. Now that's the right aspect ratio, but we wanna drag the highlighted portion down to cover the part that we want. So now you'll see that it displays in here. So let's do the favicon next. The favicon is the little icon on the left part of your tab. It's in no way required, but it's a useful thing to have so you can tell what tabs are open without checking each one of them. So let's click on the favicon and select my other image. So this one fits perfectly. And by the way, the optimal size for a uh, favicon is 16 by 16 pixels. But as long as the uh, length is the same as the width, it'll be fine. So that's those two sorted out. All this other stuff we're gonna leave. I might cover it in, in future videos, but we're gonna start with a minimum and get you up and running quickly. If you're curious about the other fields though, notice the little eye next to almost every field. If you hover over it, it'll tell you briefly what the field is for. Now let's save this and notice how the favicon is updated uh, as, well, as well as the banner up here. Now that's a good start. Now we're probably gonna wanna make some other changes to get the look and feel of our organization. So let's move on to themes. This is where you set your company colors. Now there are a number of pre-built themes in this dropdown. I'm gonna select a few just to show you, but most of you are already gonna have your company colors or even a design manual. So you'll wanna use that when you set up your theme. So I'm gonna set it back to the default and then I'm gonna save this as a new theme. I'm gonna give it a name that stands out from the rest because then it's easy to find it again. So you, you, could then, you could then switch back to the default and then switch back to your theme again. And you could even make a separate theme if you wanna experiment with some changes. The first thing we're gonna do is change the header color. I'll select header in the dropdown menu and then I'm gonna input the hex code for my color here. You'll usually find that in your design manual, but if you don't have it readily available, there's a really handy Chrome extension that you can use. It lets you pick a color from any website like this. Uh, now that I hover my cursor over a color on, on a page, you'll see in the little square that it's got the right color. Then I click. Now when I go back to the extension, all I have to do is to copy this hex code from here and paste it in here. And now you'll see that the color flows perfectly from one side to the other. This extension that I just used is called Eyedropper and it's free. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. Now you might think that this is enough for design or you might wanna decide you wanna change this banner color too, for example. It's all available in the menu here you could even make a few different options and save each as a separate theme and then switch back and forth to see which one you like. There's no right or wrong here. It's all about what your users are used to and what will feel like home to them. I'm gonna set my header color back to the standard blue. 
you can make more changes. Have a look at this menu and play around with it and you'll find most design items are available to change here. Now let's look at the CSS menu. If you have any web design experience, you'll know that CSS is essentially the design part of the page. It's a technical tool and it's written in code, but it's a very powerful tool to allow you to change virtually any design element on this entire page, whether it's a background color, background image, font, font size, or color. It's all customizable here. I mean, you could redesign the entire page to something entirely unrecognizable. We're not gonna do that today, but know that it's all here in case you wanna change a design element that's not available in the, the color section and you feel like it needs to change. You'll, you will need a uh, web developer to take care of this part. The JavaScript menu is another advanced feature and it's essentially allowing you to add minor features to your platform. But again, you will need a programmer, specifically a front-end developer to help you achieve this. And that concludes the look and feel part of Talent LMS. In our next video, we're gonna get into getting a few users into our system. Please like and subscribe if this has been at all useful to you. And uh, please use the comment field if you have any questions or comments. I do make an effort to get back to everyone.